Hello internet friends. In this video I'll be talking about the FS2020 duplex fuel selector from Andair. Um, this is the fuel selector that I've selected for uh, my build uh, mostly because I'm doing EFII system 32 electronic fuel injection and ignition. And uh, the, where it differs from the standard fuel selector you get from vans is that um, this fuel system requires a fuel return. So you need two lines, obviously a send to the engine and a return from the engine. And you want a selector that will allow you to, you know, draw fuel from a tank and put fuel back into that same tank because if it doesn't go back in that same tank, then uh, it will go in the wrong tank and eventually it will overfill and uh, start dumping fuel overboard. And that's expensive. And um, yeah. Oh, also you could run out of fuel. So we don't want to do any of that. So this is the video I wish uh, someone had made for me. So I knew exactly what to order. So you're welcome internet. Uh, I'm taking the hit for this. So in the United States, if you order this, you get this fuel selector with straight fittings. Uh, that doesn't work for vans because if you read the plans, at least for the RV14, I haven't looked at any of the other planes because I'm not building them, uh, but you want the fuel lines to point 90 degrees backwards. So what I ended up having to do was call and air in England is where the company is located. So I had to get my Google Voice uh, subscription up so I could pay one cent a minute instead of however much Verizon wants to charge me on my cell phone. So I didn't want to find out. Um, so I gave Google five bucks and uh, used all of 10 cents of talk time to England. Anyway, uh, got the 90 degree fittings. I was expecting it would take two weeks to uh, get them. And nope, literally I ordered on Sunday order got processed on Monday when I called them and said, hey, I want to change my order because I ordered five um, 90 degree fittings. And then I realized once I read their page that they also have a banjo fitting, which will rotate 360 degrees. So that's I got five 90 degree angles and a banjo fitting. And at the end, I do a little walk around video so you could see how I end up configuring this fuel valve to match what I'm thinking the plans want me to do. Um, but let's talk about ordering this fuel valve here. Um, what you're actually going to want to do if you have time, because the lead time on uh, custom fittings and on the fuel pump is about um, eight weeks as of this video, at what they told me. Um, so go to Ander's website, you can actually configure uh, the fittings that you want. Although you can't actually select the 90 degree fittings, I don't know why. Maybe because they would need a way for you to uh, specify you know, what rotation you want, if you want to point down or back, and they don't have that on the webpage. But uh, you can easily just call them and order it and they'll uh, you know, send it to you configured the way you want and it actually saves you money. So if you have eight weeks free before you need this pump, I recommend ordering it through them. Uh, it was actually pretty fast shipping for me. Uh, I got you know ordered on Monday and then got it on Friday. So there's a couple more configuration options like you can select uh, different lettering or um, anodization of the uh, fuel valve cover, or the selector cover that says left, right, off. So that could be neat if you don't want just what standard that aircraft Spruce already bought. And again, you save like 200 bucks over getting it from Spruce in the configuration that you don't want. So this is an up close shot of that banjo fitting. So you can see that it actually can rotate 90 degrees and the reason I selected this is um, when for my fuel you know send line um, I want it to go forward and down so I figure being able to rotate that um, valve fitting and putting it anywhere that I need uh, it just gives me more options to create lines and where I'm going to mount my fuel pump than having a fitting either coming. Well, actually, the, the only other option would be to come straight out since that 90 degree fitting on the bottom is pointing down. 
and this is looking at the front of the fuel selector even though it says left right off left <laughs> is actually going to be uh, all the way left and then forward is going to be selecting the right tank even though that seems counterintuitive sorry that's the way this thing works so anyway i hope this video is helpful again i wish someone had made this video when i was trying to figure out what to order so future rv14 builders with efii your system 32 you're welcome uh come chat with us on slack the link is in the description see you guys in the next video